I'm a big fan of Twitter and I spend a little too long on that platform. The other day I saw an ad on Twitter for Twitter and there was a bit of type animation in there which I thought I could do a tutorial on that. Here it is. I've just cropped it to show you just a little part that we're interested in. It's, uh, it's very simple. It's kind of masked type that comes in from nowhere and it just leaves to nowhere as well. If you don't know how to do it, and you want to know how to do it, keep watching. We're in Adobe After Effects. Again, I'm gonna make a new comp, and who cares how big it is. Get my type tool here, put in some type, we feel you, and we'll center that. We need a mask around our type, so I'm going to right click on our layer, go up to the mask, and choose new mask. There you have it. Now, using the pan behind tool, which is that little weird looking thing, when I click and drag, holding down the shift key to constrain it, it moves the type, but not the mask. Neat. So we need to put in a couple of keyframes so it remembers our starting point. I'll put in one for position and one for mask. Move down 20 frames, say. And when I click and drag that type, Move that off the page. When I play it back, uh, it's kind of what we want, but kind of in the wrong direction as well. So I'll just drag over those keyframes. Right click, keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes. Now, it appears. We are gonna use Ease and Wiz, which is my little script for easing things. Using Robert Penner's amazing easing equations. And once those are selected, we're going to turn on Curvaceous because we are animating a mask path. Expo out. It's quite dramatic. Let's, let's make it less dramatic. Let's, let's do Quint. Why not? Never use Quint. Apply. And now there's some lovely easing. Very simple. Yet effective. Now uh, we want it to go away again. Trick here is if you use your pan behind tool now with an expression applied it moves the mask with the layer which is not what we want so by flipping open our properties and turning just disabling by clicking on those equals buttons now when we do that it moves the type but not the mask and what we've neglected to do here is because we want it to stay on the screen for a little while before it goes away so I'll copy that keyframe, paste it, copy this keyframe and paste it. And now there's going to be a pause between these keyframes where we can read the type. When I press play now, we feel you. Comes in, ah, oh, we need to re-enable our expression. And finally, let's get a different easing type when it leaves. I'm just going to cheat this one. I'm going to split the layer by typing Command Shift D for delta or that would be option uh no wait that would be control shift d on windows i imagine and delete these uh extraneous keyframes we don't need them anymore just cluttering the place up and now for this easing type we'll go quint in apply so now when i play that back it eases in both directions nice so if you didn't know before, that is an easy way to achieve that effect. I can hear my kids have just come home, so I better cut this short. Thank you for watching and see you next time.